I think I have success on my uh, BMS. Took a long time for it to uh, find home here, but it uh, I just flipped the AC on now and it's charging because today was cloudy and rainy all day. And it finally didn't shut me down. It had me shut down all day. Between the figuring out the app and trying to get this to work. Now whether it'll cut off at the right time or not is yet to be seen. But finally the 8S is working and the rest is zero, which is where I was having a problem. It seemed to have been leaking in there and there was nothing there to leak into. So anyway. That seems to be working right now. I'm gonna let it charge. I haven't had it. It's been off all day, and so it hasn't had a chance. Even though it was raining, it would have took a couple of kilowatts. But anyway, it looks like success is here for now. Ah, for now, I'll say because. Uh, See, there's no, it's on bulk, but nothing's happening there. So, I uh, flipped on the AC. It's on AC now, and it's pouring 1.1 kilowatts. That's what's charging. Yeah, so these are all on now. The balance is off. Eight cells. It finally seemed to find home. Took a long time. It gave me some weird messages too. So 26.5 volts. 300 AH it says. Huh. Balance. So there's something going on there. They were all pretty balanced. I My voltage um, lights must have been off. And the Drox must have been not quite right, but I didn't put my temperature sensors in there. So it took me six hours to get it to work. <laughs> that CH Moss come up, said busted on here earlier. <laughs> I should have taped it all. It's been quite an episode, but... Hopefully, hopefully we got it. Yeah, there, come up 164%. So I will keep an eye on this to see where we go. It's going to take a while to bring up the voltage any. So I'll leave it on AC for now. I'll get back to you later. Thanks for watching.